Hey there, golf lovers. Looking to step up your game? Let me tell you about Molly Box, the ultimate golf subscription box. Every month, Molly Box sends you a box packed with premium golf gear, accessories, and stylish apparel, all delivered right to your door. Imagine getting top tier apparel and more, all handpicked just for you. With Molly Box, you'll stay ahead of the game and boost your performance. It's like having a personal caddy in a box. So why wait? Join the Molly Box family today. Head over to mollybox.com and use your limited time promo code ROGUE25, ROGUE, R-O-G-U-E-25 for 25% off your first box. That's mollybox.com. Most bankers aren't ready to help you until after their third cup of coffee. But with Central National Bank's after-hours service, you don't have to wait for the bank lobby to open to get help. You can contact us from 6 to 8.30 in the morning or from 5 to 10 in the evening, and we'll connect you to a real, live, local person who can answer questions and fix problems seven days a week. Bank different. Bank central. Central National Bank. Member FDIC. This is a Rogue Media Network podcast. Welcome back to What's Up Waco, the podcast that loves to introduce you to the people, the places, and the properties that make Waco an excellent community to live. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to What's Up Waco with your host, Erica Boysvert. And today I am joined by Katie Patrick. Hello. 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 And Katie, you're owner of Ria Lana's Waco. Yes, correct. Ria Lana's of Waco. I always say it wrong. And I even listen to you say it like when we're at meetings and stuff. And I still, I don't know why Rhea is stuck in my head. Rhea. Rhea. Yes, it is Rhea. Um, but <laughs> a lot of people do that. In fact, I really? did that when I first learned of it. Ah, uh, you're just being sweet. But no, for real. <laughs> I want to say probably for the first two years I said Rhea. <laughs> really? Yeah. Were they like, ooh, Katie, yes. ma'am. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Okay, so for people who don't know what it is, because um, I didn't know what it was when we went to one of our, like at Slow Rise, I think was the first time we met. And a lot of the ladies were super stoked that you were opening one here. And I didn't even know, like, or having the events here, I should say, because it's not brick and mortar. Correct. So, um, so do you want to get into kind of what it is? Like, what is Rialana's? Yeah. So Rialana's of Waco is a children's consignment event. We are pop-up and we are semi-annual. So we have two events a year. We have mm -hmm. a spring and summer event and okay. then we have our fall and winter event. Yes. Um, so even though in Texas, it's basically summer, you know, nine months <laughs> out of the year. <laughs> Fair. Um, like right now, we're getting ready technically for our fall and winter event, which is going to take place August um, 7th through 11th yes, at the Waco Convention Center over in McLennan Hall 209. Mm -hmm. And um, we're also making it a back to school event. So oh, yeah. That's like excellent timing. Exactly. August 7th through 11th. That's right before school starts for most districts. Yes, exactly. So um, it'll be a great opportunity for parents to come and stock up their kids for that first semester of school, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all the clothes that they'll need to get them through the fall and winter season. That's great. Yeah. And then, but you also have stuff for little, little, not ready for school yet, little people, right? Correct. Okay. So we accept items for newborn through teens. Okay. So basically if you have a kid and they have outgrown something, then as long as it's still, you know, good quality, mm -hmm. then you're welcome to sell it with us. Okay. Um, we obviously get a lot of clothes, yeah. um, but we do have very high quality standards. So we do not accept anything with stains, holes, excessive wear. I did uh, notice that like, I, sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you, but I noticed that was kind of a common thread on the website. Mm -hmm. It's like the pride that y'all take in the fact that these are high quality, you know, goods, toys, yes. clothes, shoes, that you take time to make sure. Exactly. Right? It's fitting whatever the standard protocol is that you have set. Right. Oh, exactly. Very cool. That's so, neat. yeah. And we love name brands, boutique brands. Sure. Um, but everything is generally like 
everything is priced by the consigner. So okay. the consigner oh, sets nice. their own price. Huh. However, we encourage them to follow our pricing guidelines of anywhere from 25 to like 40% of the original retail That's value. totally fair. So like the some of those name brand items, that's mm-hmm. going to be more of the like 35% range. Okay. Or if something's new with tags, maybe it's going to be 50% because, you know, when you're your mom, you get mom. tons of things <laughs> and your kids never yeah. wear them. No. So if you can bring us stuff new with tags and, you know, make it 50% off or better yet, make it 60% off. Yeah. New moms are going to come in, see that, see what an amazing deal it is, scoop it up, and they're going to be set. So there's a benefit to being there like the first day. Yes. Right. Okay. Yes. Well, and so that's the great thing. Like as our event gets larger, Mm -hmm. we'll see more of that because we may have 10 consigners that are all going to consign a cozy coop. You know, those little red and yellow toy cars oh, yeah. that you use. You're like, you guys Flintstone. can't see my face, but I totally was like blank. Like what <laughs> is I'm so far out of the mom game. Like what is it? Co- yeah. Yes, we had one of those. Yes. It's like, so, the- you know, you have 10 moms that will bring one in okay. and you know, one mom is going to price it at $50. Well, another mm-hmm. mom is just ready to get rid of it. <laughs> And it's going to be $10. Yeah. (laughs) So if you're one of the first people to come and shop with us, then you're going to be able to snag the one that's $10. Sure. Score. Yeah. And still like the $50 price one is still a great deal. Still a good deal. Yeah. Yeah. But that's why (laughs) like you definitely want to try and get one of our pre-sale tickets, which Uh we do sell pre-sale tickets. And we also have free options as well. Like we give free pre-sale tickets to moms to be teachers, wow. healthcare okay. heroes, military members. I was going to say, is there a veteran discount? Yes. I'm send my daughter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not a discount, but they or do like get a free, free ticket. Pass. Yes. Sorry. Okay. Absolutely. Our consigners, if you do consign with us, mm-hmm. you get a sh- ticket to shop the pre-sale event nice. before we open to the general public. So, Very cool. Okay. Yeah. We really try to take care of the community and just keep everything here locally. I love that. So are you no, – so, well, how long have you had this one in wait? Because your first event was your spring one. Right? Correct. Okay. Yeah, so we are new. Mm-hmm. Um, our first event was in March, and it was great. We mm-hmm. had a good turnout. You did. I loved it. And, you know, people s- said wonderful things about it. Nice. So I can't wait just to continue growing and, you know, serving the community even mm-hmm. more. Well, and that's something I think that's so awesome about Waco. Now that you're here and established with your second event, we'll be like, okay, they're here, you know. Um, I feel like it'll grow and grow and grow because word of mouth here is no joke. It yes. spreads like fire. So, yes. I that's, mean, good <laughs> right? typically good, but, you know, everybody knows everybody and, and uh, the information gets around really fast. Yes, and so. that's what we want, like mm-hmm. – we say we call it, you know, the real on is difference. Like come come experience the difference. Okay. Um, I wanna make your experience phenomenal mm-hmm. and I wanna do that like to where you personally are like feel welcome in my event. Totally. And so whether you're coming as a consigner, mm-hmm. you're coming as a shopper, or you're coming as one of our foster families. Like I'm wanna make that experience while you're in my store, one that you can't find anywhere else. That's awesome. And very true. And I know from listening to you how hard you were working before that event to make sure everything was just perfectly ready, super organized. (laughs) I was blown away because you have a lot of stuff, like just a lot of product. Yeah. Yeah. Um, (laughs) We have several thousands of items. (laughs) Um, That is overwhelming to think about. But, you know, we have a great system. Okay. And... We follow the plan and it works. Okay. Um, I am doing a lot that I can to educate our consigners and like mm-hmm. how to properly, you know, prep their items to make sure that everything stays organized and okay. well maintained. Good. But one of the things that makes us different is we will guarantee any item that you bring into our store to sell. So if on pickup day you don't get that item back, then I will pay you for it as long as, you know, we followed that process. Okay. If something happened, I take that personally. So I'm going to, you know, reimburse you for that. So keeping organized and keeping it all in track helps me. Right. That's that's good for everybody. (laughs) Yes, exactly. (laughs) And, okay, 
Also, I want, yes, you're new here, but this is a much larger national thing. Correct. Right? Yes. So when you say that you're you're leaning on processes and protocols, these are well established, right? And Absolutely. And you get to lean into that and, and adopt it as your own. I'm sure you get to get. Yes. Like taken on, right? Yes. Um, so I think that it's important to let people know that even though this particular store or st- event might be, it's not brick and mortar. And I keep saying that store, <laughs> it, even though your event um, is, you know, newer, you've got a lot of history behind you. Correct. Yeah. So the company itself, Rialana's, you know, as a company mm-hmm. was started by a lady named Rialana. Um, Shoot. I'm sorry I mispronounced your name, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> so um, in a little town in Conway, Arkansas, which is outside of Little Rock, okay. um, she started up her business as a way to help herself, like, clothe her children mm-hmm. um, because her husband had worked in the, like, IT tech world okay. and you know, had a calling that he needed to go into ministry. So he went wow. from, you know, an IT type of job to a ministry job. So sure. they had to change their little family budget. Sure. Yeah. So she was like, you know, I have these clothes that don't fit my children anymore. And I have friends who have clothes that don't fit their children anymore. Like if we can just like get together mm-hmm. and sell them to each other, it'll work out. So right. she had her very first event in her living room. Ah, uh. And... People loved the idea and it it's just an excellent idea. kept growing and blossoming. And we have, mm-hmm. I, I know we have over 125 locations Holy across the country, cow. but I know it's way more than that. Um, I should have looked up the exact number before I came, but it's, I'm you know, like, like I, see it? I didn't see it on the website. I actually found it in when I lived in San Antonio. Oh, okay. Um, so the Northwest. Rialana's of Northwest San Antonio is a very large event. Okay. And that's how I learned of the company. And I started out as a shopper mm-hmm. and then I became a consigner and then I started <laughs> working the event and I was like, you know what? This is something I need to do and decided to purchase my own franchise. That's all. And what a, like, this is such a massive benefit. I think people, I don't know. I don't think anybody underestimates how much children cost, but Clothing has gotten so crazy, along yes. with everything else. But when you have kids who just, I mean, you could buy them shorts one week and two weeks later, oh, sorry, too bad. Those don't fit anymore. Exactly. You know? And so what a great way to, sure, you're not getting 100% of that back, but you can get 25, 30, 40, 50% of it back. Plus also find another parent who, you know, brought some clothes in that are in great condition and you can get them way che- Like it, it's an Excellent idea. Yeah. I mean, it really does benefit the community Mm -hmm. itself. So I'm all about, you know, helping out Central Texas. Okay. And I want us to grow stronger and better and, you know, just succeed. So Mm -hmm. our consigners, they are making money by Mm -hmm. selling their high quality items. So they're able to stretch their family budget. Right. Um, Our shoppers are saving money buying these high quality items. Mm -hmm. And so they're able to stretch their family budgets. It's just all around helpful. Boom, yeah. Boom. I mean, it's just such a beautiful cycle of, of everybody exactly. making out, right? So talk about a win-win. Right. That's a win-win. Yeah. And what's really great is, you know, when you shop, I will 100% of it, like I am a Target fanatic. I go all the time. I spend way too much money. Like I went with my mom the other day and she's like, what do we need at Target? I was like, mom, we're not going, like we don't. That's not how that works. Yeah. Like tar- we go to Target, Target and Target tell tells you. us what we need. <laughs> my um, husband hates that. Yeah. But Target tells you what you need. Exactly. You and so the aisle. yeah, $125 later we were leaving with our two bags. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, the, oops. the great thing about Riolana's mm-hmm. is that a hundred percent of the money that is spent Mm -hmm. stays in that community because I pay out my consigners 65% of the total sales. Oh, wow. And then I retain the other 35% to operate the business. Mm -hmm. So it's going to these local vendors and, you know, like my family, it's helping, you know, pay for soccer next season for my daughter. Right. It's helping, you know, other consigners 
pay for their child's dance lessons mm-hmm. or daycare, whatever the case may be. Like the, all of that money is staying here within Central Texas, which I think is so important. Mm-hmm. Um, Very. Because when you shop local, it has such a larger impact. And this is a way that you can shop local mm-hmm. from so many different families in one location. Right. That's so great. And it's like, it's like, Mm, is it fair to say it's marketplace on crack, but high quality? Because kind of, all, yeah. <laughs> you don't have to go pick up. You don't have to try to get the message through Messenger. It's not like Venmo, Cash App. How do you take money? Like, do I bring cash with me? No, no, all of that is eliminated. Exactly. Literally, they go to one place for all of the things that they could possibly Google or Amazon or whatever, which is another. That's a, right up yes, the target. Me too. You know? Mm-hmm. And so um, like, it, it's just an all-around great idea. And then everybody is benefiting Yes, absolutely. So it, you mentioned that you, if something doesn't sell, you'll pay the consigner for it. Did I say that right? Yes. Okay. Well, if Did, but you, they don't get it back. Oh, okay. Nope. You got to explain that to me. Okay. So consigners will bring their items and they drop them off. Like, okay. you're a consigner. You prep all your items at home. Mm-hmm. Um, you price them and everything. You bring them to our consigner check-in. We check in all of those items, make sure that they pass our quality standards. Okay. And then they go out on the floor, qu- quotes. <laughs> <laughs> um, Get ready for the event. Yes. Okay. Um, we make it look real pretty. People come and shop and spend the money, all that stuff. At the end of the event, I send you a check. Okay. And then you come pick up your unsold items. Okay. Um. Those unsold items, like let's say that you were missing a pair of shoes. Okay. You know, we'll go through our process. We'll try to help you track them down because we want you to get your item back. Like, sure. If it didn't sell. If for some reason I can't find that item, Uh, then I will pay you for it. Oh, okay. As if it sold on, you know, the first day of the sale. So there's no risk. Not really. The only risk really is that somebody didn't want to buy your stuff. (laughs) Yeah. And, you know, that happens sometimes. Sure. You know, there's still a little bit of sentimental attachment to something. And so you might overprice it. Okay. Or, you know, maybe you were just going up against a competitor that just wanted everything gone. And so they went bare minimum price on everything. Like, we do not have any control over what somebody sells their item for. Sure. Um, We just try to encourage. And we want you to make as much money as possible. So don't, you know, undercut yourself. um, But don't overprice yourself either. (laughs) Don't price yourself out of the market. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, But then the other part of that is if you're a consigner and you like, I do not want any of this stuff back, Mm -hmm. you have the option to donate your unsold (gasps) items. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So um, after consigners pick up their unsold items, Mm -hmm. um, all of the donations, we reorganize it again and make it look pretty. And Mm -hmm. then we open the doors to local foster families. And they come in and they shop from our donations and they can take anything that they may want or need for free. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, maybe the difference between them being able to take an emergency placement next week because, Mm -hmm. you know, they didn't have a baby bed before, but somebody decided to donate their crib if it didn't sell. So they took it Mm -hmm. because they are open to taking in an infant and they get an infant gets placed with them next week. So. Mm. It's really important, and that's a great option, and that's kind of like the heart of what we do is we that's want great. to help this community be strong, and we know that, you know, foster families, mm-hmm. they can use that extra assistance. Oh, my gosh, yes. Because they're doing – And a, deserve it. <laughs> yeah, they're doing a great thing right. in helping children that, you know, are vulnerable at that time. So mm-hmm. anything we can do to help make that a little bit easier for them, we yeah. want to. No, I love that. Um, so then one step further, uh, is there anything left over after the foster families come through? Yes. Okay. Um, and so then I just partner with other local, um, nonprofits okay. that will come and take the items for us. Okay. Um, the only request is that they do not resell them. Yeah. Okay. So we're not going to drop it off at, you know, a, run into goodwill a goodwill or... for them to then put it on their shelves. Sure. Um, we want to give it to, you know, some type of organization that is going to gift those donations to mm-hmm. someone who actually needs them within so the community. more like Foster Village, Isaiah House, Unbound, things like that maybe. Yes. Okay. That's, yes, I love that. Yeah. And That's amazing. Um, some of those organizations do mm-hmm. have established rules yeah. about like they only accept new clothing now, yeah. for example. Mm-hmm. Um, 
I'm hoping that as they see, like, our standards are a lot different Mm -hmm. than um, some of the other things sure. that you know they may have been right. exposed to people who are just like i'm just cleaning yeah. out my closet here you that go. they'll see like hey these are some good quality things plus we have stuff that's new with tags that right? gets donated and doesn't end up going to a foster family so do you ever invite them to the pre-sale day just to like just to see um maybe like the directors i'm definitely open like, to this it. is just me spitballing yeah, i'm not like, trying I'm, to like I'm pressure open anybody to it. sorry no <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking out loud, Katie. Yeah, no, everyone is welcome to come to the pre-sale events and check us out and see what we have. Um, like nice. I said, we have the pay tickets and free tickets available. Mm-hmm. And one of the free tickets is our social media um, fans, You, I guess you can say. Yeah. Um, so we, you know, post a graphic on our social media okay. pages and you just show that graphic at the door. And that gets you in. That's your ticket. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, so then it pays to follow you on social. Yes. So in the show notes, I have have your links already set up for everybody. So get into the notes on the episode and you'll be able to follow Rialana's Waco. It's it's Rialana's of Waco are the ats on both Facebook and Instagram. Correct. Um, And I also have your website in there, which is also Rialana's of Waco. Uh, the right. website is waco.realana.com. Waco.realana.com. It's in there correctly in the show notes. <laughs> Ignore me, per huge. Um, What else? So how have you found – so you're newer to Waco. Kind of. Kind so, of? Yeah. Did you move back? Yes. So oh. I was born and raised here. Oh, um, okay. I was born over, you know, in the old Hillcrest Hospital. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> um, grew up here, graduated from Midway High School. You did? Yes. And oh, then very cool. after graduation, you know, I went northbound on 35 <laughs> out for college. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, and I mean, I was gone for 22 years wow. and I just recently moved back with mm-hmm. my family mm-hmm. to start this business, actually. Really? I felt it was something that Waco really needed. And, Agree. Agree. You know, my family was in a situation where we could make that happen. So it was just kind of like all the pieces fell into place. No, that's awesome. And everybody was on board. Yes. Because um, <laughs> like. That's a big Because ch- where did you guys move from? So we moved from San Antonio. Right. Okay. Yeah. And before San Antonio, my wife and I lived in the Portland, Oregon area. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's so, so beautiful. <laughs> and know. the weather is it's so nice. <laughs> I wish we were there right now. Not I know. Like, it's a little hot today. The it's other day, hot. like on my memory, something came up and it was like 67 <laughs> degrees. And I was like, oh, that's so <laughs> great. I wish it was that way now. <laughs> we'll get back to it. Yeah. We just have four five six more months of heat <laughs> i know um but what's crazy cool. is up there like it would hit 85 and people are like and it's so like, hot, it's hot i can't do anything and i'm like this is nothing <laughs> and you get like pacific i mean you're not like right there but you get pacific breezes yes and people underestimate the effect of the pacific ocean yes drastic like i miss the pacific ocean especially right now but you know like having your windows open at night Yes. It's well, so, that was so oh. weird to me. I was like, what do you mean there's no air conditioner and I have to sleep with my windows open? Like, oh. what? <laughs> Wasn't it great, though? I mean. Or did you get used to it? Or were you like, I, mm. I got used to it and then I did get a little bougie and got a, <laughs> a little window unit. You're like, and, no, I need it to be 60. <laughs> thank you. Yes, exactly. And that's so funny. Yeah, that was, that. see, so opposite. That was an adjustment for me that I was like, okay, it's really hot during the day. It's okay when the sun goes down, it'll cool off. Nope. That does not happen here. Yeah. <laughs> mm, no. Okay. So then, so you came back. Mm-hmm. So how, so that's different. Okay. That changes my question slightly because I was just going to ask how it was to kind of tuck into the community and get to know people. But did you already know people? I mean, I know some or has people. has it changed a lot? It has changed a lot. Mm-hmm. So when I left Waco, it was pre-Chip and Joanna <laughs> Magnolia sure. days. So Waco in itself has changed drastically. Yes. Now, obviously, I have some friends that I went to high school with that are still in town. Mm-hmm. Um, I have family friends that are still in town. Okay. But for the most part, like, I am starting over. Okay. You know, like, so you do feel kind of like you're starting from scratch. Yes. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. But how's it been? It's been great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like, the community here is 
one that I don't know if you can find it anywhere else. That is very fair. It is a very welcoming. Yes. And and business supporting. Yes. And just in general supporting. Because I mean, okay, as, yeah. yeah. Yeah, as you know, at being my neighbor, my house was <laughs> my house was hit by a tornado. It was hit like it was hit. Katie. Yeah, uh, I'm, she's like, I know. Shut up. Yeah, um, and just so you guys understand, like this tornado literally went down the not canal. Where'd my brain just go? Yeah, like culvert. the little yes, I was the like the ravine culvert. thing. I don't I know, know the thingy. <laughs> it went down the culvert right behind Katie's house, and legitimately, I think yours was hit the hardest. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it touched down in our yard. Uh, because yeah. we had like that huge divot, and there's like a trench or something oh. that like went around our pool. Did that it really? Connect. And so, I don't know. It and was that huge, beautiful tree in your front yard. Yeah, that's gone. Mm, bye. Mm, yeah. But <laughs> here, um, have us all. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But you know, when that hit, I mm-hmm. didn't. I mean, I had met my neighbors. Sure. Just like, a, hey, yeah, welcome to the neighborhood, kind of thing, mm-hmm. and we wave at each other, mm-hmm. whatever. But just the overwhelming support we had from people on streets far over coming over to help, and mm-hmm. I mean, part of the tree landed on my mom's car, and so <sighs> people were pulling the tree off of her car so that she could get it out of the driveway. Yeah. People were offering us saws and to bring us food and bring us water and um china spring cares which is a really great organization that helps families in china spring with clothing Mm -hmm. like they made food yes Mm -hmm. they made sure that we had stuff to kind of get us through because my kids lost everything i didn't know in their rooms yeah so they went in and pulled their sizes and dropped off bags for us um with some clothes to kind of get through Mm -hmm. that initial stage and Mm -hmm. um Thankfully, you know, we're going to be moving back to the China Spring community in a couple of days. Um, Fingers crossed everything. That's amazing. Yeah. That's actually, I mean, I know it probably felt like a disgustingly long time to be out of your home. Two months. But I mean, that was like, it it hit, it touched down on April 26th, which is not a fun day in China Spring land. And um, and you're already going back in July. Yes. No, we're still in June. We're still in June. We're still in June. June 28th. Yeah. I mean, Two months. Two months. Um, Jeez. But, you know, we are very fortunate because some mm-hmm. of our neighbors just got a new roof Yeah. Um, this past weekend. Mm-hmm. So we are very fortunate that um, we have some of those family friend connections. <laughs> <laughs> and they, you know, made sure that they took really good care of us. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, my father, before he passed away, he was a home builder. Here I in know Waco, yeah, for 49 years. Wow. So he, you know, had really great relationships with mm-hmm. people. And, you know, one of those relationships was or is Jim Patterson. Oh, um, that's not a bad person to know. <laughs> yeah. So um, when the tornado hit, I called Jim and just kind of told him what happened. And he's mm-hmm. like, I'll take care of you. Don't worry oh. about it. And so, you know, Jim got a lot of this used a lot of the same subcontract excuse me subcontractors got it uh-huh. that my father used and so they were happy to help us as well oh, and it was I just you know really you great because my dad obviously can't be here to help me through this mm-hmm. crazy thing where I need my dad right? of all times right. I need my dad to help rebuild my house and so um it was just a way for him to kind of mm-hmm. be there what a great legacy us. he left that people are still like Oh no, we are going to take care of your daughter. Hang on. Yes, exactly. That's awesome. That's so, awesome. yeah, it's been, and I shouldn't, because I know, like, Mandy, if you're listening, I know your house got hit too, girl. Your house got hit really, really hard. I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that, but it was a lot. That street was just like mm-hmm. boom, boom, boom. Yes, and it was nice. crazy. And I got offended by the National Weather Service. Why? Because (laughs) when they like ranked the tornado or whatever, they said it was like a one, which is fine. Like I know they have their things. But it was like, oh, roof damage, minor roof damage or something. I was like, I don't have minor damage. It's not minor. I know we did the same thing. And But I mean, comparatively, like when Mm -hmm. I look across the country and places where tornadoes have hit other places, I'm like, I am very lucky. You know, my daughter, my wife, and my mom, they were all home when that tornado hit, and they are safe. And so right. that is what's most important. Oh. But 
It's but just also. like at the same time when you're going through it, you're just like, this is not minor. I can't live in my home right now. Right. Like, no, you guys have been out. Yes. Yeah, no. And glass and I just all of the things. It's we had kind of the, and gosh, I'm such a brat. Our house, we escaped any I watched it go past anyway. And so, like, don't listen to me. Take it with a grain of salt. Nothing happened to our house. I'm super, super lucky. But we saw that it was an F1 and I was like, how? I saw your house. I saw your neighbor's house. I saw the Millers in the other corner. And like, I was just like, I don't want to see anything beyond an F1. I can't imagine yeah. the devastation in person, what that's like. But I, um, I'm with you. I was so blown away by our neighbors and just that community. Every bit, there was, first of all, we had no power. So we were all but everybody's walking around and checking and talking to people. What do you need? Do you need that? Like who's hungry? Um, you know, yes. things were dropped off for people and, and a lot of people escaped to the buckle. <laughs> yes. That's where we went uh, yep. uh, later that day. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, it just, it all worked out. And, mm -hmm. you know, our next door neighbor, he is a long haul truck driver. Oh yeah. Oh, so gosh. he wasn't even here. We had to call him and, and his, he was, wasn't his garage mangled? away. He like he had roof? a window bust out. He had yeah. someone's trampoline like <laughs> pierced the side of his house. It, oh, I don't even so know. But, um, yeah. you know, the community came out and somebody tarped his roof mm -hmm. for him. Mm -hmm. Didn't even know his name mm -hmm. and took care of him because they heard that you know he was several states away. Right. And my brother boarded up his windows for him. And uh -huh. you know, it's just everybody neighbors were helping neighbors, and mm -hmm. it was great. It, it, yeah, it really, really was. And um, so getting back to Riolana's, so you like being part of a community and giving back to the community. So I think it's like such a beautiful, you know, it's very cyclical. Yes. Right? To see it happen. You personally benefited, right? And then you're also giving back. And I think that's just a beautiful way to live, honestly. Like how cheesy does that sound? But it's so true because when you put yourself kind of last – amazing things happen. Yeah. I didn't know your dad, but I can only imagine how great he must have been to have people still coming to, you know? Yeah. And I think it, like you said, it's a very unique place. Wake up. Yes. And it can go either way. Absolutely. I mean, there's good and bad, but I think overwhelmingly people are really great here. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. And now we've got real honest here, which is another yes. way to help people out. And it's just in a time when Nobody's sure what's happening next. And everything keeps getting more expensive and more expensive. And insurance went up and gas is, you know, food prices are stupid right now. Mm -hmm. And so, and here you are with a solution for something that is very overwhelming for families. Absolutely. Clothing and shoes and stuff that your kids need and constantly need. Yes. And stuff that they want. Yeah. Because we okay. also, we, we take and the stuff. toys and sure. the games and the bikes. Yeah. Um, sports moms. Like, hey, when your Ooh. kid outgrows their, you know, baseball cleats, mm -hmm. sell them with us. Yeah. Clean them up and we can sell them. And that's also going to help another kid be able to play baseball that may not have been able to play. Right. The next because now season. instead of that $90 pair of cleats, they can find something that's much more cost effective or that fits into their family budget. Yes, Love exactly. It. Exactly. And, you know, I just want to build a great community that supports each other and continues to do that, you know, for many years to come. Mm -hmm. And that's my overall goal. Okay. And I need you know, everyone's helped to do that. Yeah. And so, you know, so tell people, exactly. share this podcast, let people know. Yes, please. Like we want to help as many people as we can, whether okay. it's, you know, clearing out your clutter <laughs> or buying things for your kids mm -hmm. or, you know, helping you take in, you know, some extra foster kids or get things for foster children Sure. that, you know, we want to be that for you sure you want to be that that resource and let people remember spring and fall yes generally speaking. generally speaking just keep those um all right so that's great so next event august 7th through the 11th yes easy to remember 7 11 yes our pre-sale is pre -sale? august 6th pre-sale get those uh, tickets yes or follow you guys Yes, follow us online, um, Facebook and Instagram. Um, 
we will have the we call it internal the like I call it a social media pass, <laughs> but um, you'll see it posted. Um, okay, to come be our guest um, nice. to our pre-sale event. Um, but you know, our tickets are really affordable to you. So you can be in the first wave that comes through the door. Mm-hmm. It's twenty dollars that gets you and oh, a friend that's in. That's not bad. Oh, so, my God. oh, that's two. So it's ten bucks. Yeah, split it with ten a bucks friend. Each. Sure. You and your bestie come shop and stock up. You know, Christmas is not that far away. It's less Ugh. less than six months away. Ugh. So <laughs> come find some toys to okay, that's good. get that's your good. kids for Christmas, and they'll never even know. Um, <laughs> Bikes, you just put a bow on it. If, yes. You know, I mean, you're good. Just put a bow on anything and they're happy. Exactly. You know, <laughs> it's it's so wonderful. And when I first, you know, found Rialanas, mm-hmm. I was pregnant with my daughter mm-hmm. and I had just lost my job oh when my I was gosh. eight months pregnant. So oh, like, my God. What am I going to do? Um, but I found it and I was able to get, you know, all the stuff that I thought I needed, which wow. I ended up not really needing. Wow. Um, but that's a different. I'm like, that's a, that's <laughs> that's a, a whole, whole other conversation. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, but we were able to stock up for what we needed. Neat. And, and maternity clothes. Yes. We right? take, we yeah. take maternity clothes. Okay. We take juniors sizes. Good. Basically if, you know, a high school girl mm-hmm. or boy will, would mm-hmm. wear anything, then we'll take it. So yeah, I mean, that's adult size. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm just saying. And I, I will say those. that <laughs> I personally have a large foot and I had a large foot for a very long time as a child. Uh-huh. So bring those adult shoes because, I mean, there's going to be a kid out there that needs oh, it. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I Half was of my, yeah. three. Seventy five percent of my children could use some adult size shoes when they were teenagers. Yes. Young teenagers. Yes. And so that's a good point. Excellent. point. Yeah. I just got a whole bunch of stuff in because we have two different types of consigners. I forgot to mention that to you. So we have like a traditional consigner where you prep it and price it all yourself. Well, we also have a VIP. So that's where me or my team, which, you know, at this moment consists of like my mom and (laughs) stuff. (laughs) But eventually, you know, we're getting there. Um, (laughs) Baby steps. Yeah, exactly. So we will pick up your items and do all that work for you. And you just get emailed the check. Oh, gosh. Um, emailed it, you don't even have to pick up a check it, yeah it's stop it's it. emailed to you <laughs> and you just you know print it out take it to your bank and, and you don't good. even have to pick up your stuff because no. you can leave it there and yep. let it continue to be donated let it continue yes. to do good things exactly that's amazing so i was just going through you know their stuff and there are so many great juniors girls items coming really? out and like shoes that i'm pretty sure that her daughter wore one time oh my god! and so there's going to be some great things there come okay. and check us out very nice. You know, and we never know what we're going to get, <laughs> but we hope that we get something that you need. I'll bet. I'll bet. I'll bet you do. I'll bet you get a lot of stuff because thousands on thousands of pieces. I think you got it covered. Yes. <laughs> um, and speaking of having it covered, did we get all of the things that you want people to know about Rialana's? Did we hit everything? I think so. Okay. Two events a year. We talked about the next event, August 7th through 11th. Ticket prices pre-sale there are some special uh times when people can get in for free yes special not requirements what am i trying to say it's the end of the um, day y'all. we we give out free there tickets are free passes. to like There's free pass special communities there we there go. go teachers yes. <laughs> uh, heroes here like kind healthcare of, heroes, right? healthcare heroes veterans yeah. current military, military. yeah <sighs> Sorry, it's the end of the day and my brain has yeah. decided to shut down. Yeah, no, you're good. Oh, and moms-to-be. And moms-to-be moms have their own special block of time. Very cool. So if you are expecting a child, whether it be through birth or adoption, mm-hmm. or you just had a child mm-hmm. um, between our last event and this next event. Oh, cool. So if your child is less than six months old, you mm-hmm. can register as our, quote, mom-to-be. Nice. And come and shop um, for free, you know, that free ticket tier. Um, we do ask that you register and get an actual ticket. Okay, sure. Um, that we will scan at the door. Okay. Um, but all of that information is on our website. There will be links. The ticket link actually posts on July 1st. Oh, okay. So tickets Monday. have not yet been released, but they will be on Monday. Okay. Um, but there is opportunities to win some tickets before they go um, alive. Um, Fun. So follow us on social media because you never know what we're going to do. We have some crazy ideas up our sleeve. Oh, fun. And so, yeah. Well, very cool. Well, thank you for being here. 
Yeah, thanks for having me. You're very welcome. Thanks for bringing Rialana. Like, what a cool, I mean, so cool. So happy to have that here in Waco. Yeah, thank you. All right, well, thank you very much. And hey, everybody, that is What's Up Waco. Do you have a topic you want to talk about? Do you have questions about Waco, the real estate market, how to sell your house, what to look for when you're buying a home? Send me an email, Erica Sells Texas at gmail.com. Shoot me a text, 254-447-0180. Happy to chat about it. Find me anywhere you listen to your podcasts or at roguemedianetwork.com. This has been a Rogue Media Network production. Hey there, golf lovers. Looking to step up your game? Let me tell you about Molly Box, the ultimate golf subscription box. Every month, Molly Box sends you a box packed with premium golf gear, accessories, and stylish apparel, all delivered right to your door. Imagine getting top tier apparel and more, all handpicked just for you. With Molly Box, you'll stay ahead of the game and boost your performance. It's like having a personal caddy in a box. So why wait? Join the Mollybox family today. Head over to mollybox.com and use your limited time promo code ROGUE25, ROGUE, R-O-G-U-E-25 for 25% off your first box. That's mollybox.com.